out of sight, out of mind. The narcissists, they like a good old distraction. Distractions are what save them from themselves. It's what saves them from their tormenting thoughts. And it's what allows them, when they're bored of somebody, to shift their attention onto something more interesting, to pretend that person doesn't exist. But any distraction that the narcissist is focused upon is short-lived because they have a short attention span when it comes to feeling excited. They have a short attention span when it comes to feeling thrilled. And narcissists need those intense feelings to suppress, to drown out their own negative thoughts. When you're not thrilling to them anymore, when you're not exciting to them anymore, when you're not living up to the hype that you once did, maybe they got to know you, you became predictable, maybe their devaluation on you kind of killed that spark that you once had. Narcissists, they look for distractions. And a lot of times it comes in the form of other people, and sometimes it comes in the form of vices. Or some adventurous activity. Again, adrenaline is a form of vice, isn't it? But for the person who's been walked away from, the person who's kind of left behind, so when narcissists ignore people, sometimes they simply ignore you. They don't explain much. Sometimes you have this prolonged silent treatment. Sometimes they outright tell you or signal to you that they don't want you in their life anymore, so it's the form of a discard. And... The person who's on the receiving end of that discard, on the receiving end of that silence, on the receiving end of being ignored, is left in this intense state of wondering, what did they do wrong? Whereas the narcissist, at that same time, is fully enveloped in their new vice, their new object of attention, which again can be a person or something else. So, the person who's suffering wonders if the narcissist has forgotten about them, if the narcissist will come back, if the narcissist is thinking about them. And a lot of times the answer is simply, no, they're not thinking about you, not for the time being anyway, because they're temporarily onto something more exciting. You know, narcissists monkey branch from one exciting object to another. But it's when their new source of excitement dies down or doesn't live up to their expectations or burns out that narcissists revert to, in their mind, what they consider to be a safe bet, a safe fallback option. And that's what they see you as. And that's what they like to see you as. And they want to always know that you will be that, a safe fallback option to sit there to receive them, cradle them, rescue them, when the world just isn't keeping them in the blissful state that they want to be in. Now they're frustrated and they need an object of projection. And that's where you come in. So, do narcissists think about their ex-significant person when they're away from the significant person. Usually, especially at the beginning, no, because they've monkey branched onto something more thrilling. They've monkey branched onto a more thrilling person, perhaps. Or maybe they just looked at you, saw you as being boring, and they couldn't be bothered to be in your presence anymore. But they must have you as a fallback because they know that anything better that they're onto is going to be short-lived. And it's when they lose that fallback, because narcissists like to have this cushion, this safe landing, if things don't go according to plan. It's kind of like having that reserve parachute if the first parachute doesn't, doesn't work. The safety net, if all else fails. And they always forever want to see you as being a safety net. But the only way they can keep you being a safety net, the only way they can keep you being that fallback option is if they keep you wanting them. 
if they keep you confused about what's going on, if they keep you in this devalued state where you see the narcissist as better than you and as being the best person that you might ever have in your life. And that's why narcissists, they never discard you. They never walk away from you when you're doing well. Because if you're doing well, if you're in an upbeat place, if you're happy, and the narcissist walks away from you, you'll just kind of accept it because you are not that needy of them anyway. And you'll just kind of move on. So narcissists, don't, they don't operate like that. They only walk away from you. They only move on to the more exciting adventure or adventure, adventure, venture. I think both words work. If they've broken you down to a place where you cannot easily move on because that keeps you secured as a reliable fallback, their safety net. But the problem for them comes when, when they get that funny feeling or maybe the evidence shows that you might not be in that place anymore. You might have broken through that devalued existence into a more worthy existence. Because not many people in the narcissist's life, even those that are very charming, very attractive, very wealthy. Not many, even the ones that are the best on paper in that way, they can only manage the odd person who might be a safe fallback. Because while they might ha ha be interesting to a lot of people, kind of short term interactions, to be that fallback, that's difficult to have somebody reliable. And if they're with you for some prolonged period of time, they want to keep you secured in that place as their plan B. But it's when they feel that they might be losing the safety net, this reserve parachute, is when they get a bit annoyed, they get a bit paranoid, they become these intrusive thoughts about how can they put you back into your role. And it's almost like until they can put you back into your role, which is being somebody who's devalued and broken and who would accept them even in, you know, the worst case scenario. Maybe the narcissist one day kind of suffers a collapse and they need somebody just to help them survive emotionally, despite all the suffering that they'll inflict upon the other person. They see you as being the one who can play that role. They need to somehow put you back into that place. And when narcissists don't think you're in that place, they get these kind of intrusive thoughts of trying to wonder how they can steer you back in the place they need you to be. And that's where you, sometimes you have the hoover. That's where you, they sometimes test the waters with you, wonder how you're doing, because they think that you might not need them anymore. They fear that you might be able to move on. They fear that they don't have the power to have that control over you, even from afar. Because narcissists like to control people, not just when they're with them physically, but also from afar. That's why they must live under your skin, in your head. So they can pull those levers. So don't be surprised. Just when you feel the trauma bond is breaking, just when you feel... You can breathe, you know, you don't need them anymore. It's a great feeling. Just when you feel that dependence is kicking itself, they resurface. Thanks for watching.